Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at creating a Corinthians helmet. Um, so we start by just adding in a cube, and now we need to add a subdivision surface modifier. So what we use this for is just roughing out the basic shape of our helmet in a way that we have even, even edge loops around the X, Y, and the Z axis. That's really important for this because um, you're probably going to want ridges and stuff going around the helmet. So um, a subsurf just helps us in this case just nail in that base mesh and base shape that we're going to want to model on top of. Um, so Yeah, this is this is most of the this is most of the worry in just getting a shape that you would want to work with. So when I'm when I'm happy that I've got the right rough sort of proportions, I go ahead and I, I apply that modifier so we can start properly mesh modeling on it. Um, so the first thing we want to do to this is we want to get rid of a bunch of stuff on one side and then add in a mirror modifier. At this stage that's pretty important for a model like this. Most times I prefer not to use a mirror modifier but in this instance it really does help. Um, there are other ways other than a mirror modifier for working with symmetry. Um, so yeah, so right now what I start to do is carve carve out the um, iron mouth holes of the helmet just really roughly, just getting rid of faces. and just looking and seeing what to do. And then I just start by using proportional editing just to move all of that into the right sort of position. And this is mostly how we're gonna be going from now until we get into further work with this model is just selecting faces, using the smooth tool and proportional editing just to lay in the base, the base shape of the helmet. Um, so now we've got all that sort of done. Um, we add in a solidify and a subsurf, and then I make a duplicate and then I apply it. And now this is where we can go in and start detailing our model. Um, detailing is pretty important so we can make bridges and little extra details for the eyes and the nose and stuff like that. It takes quite a bit of work for me to get this to a level of smoothness I'd like but this entire model was done over a period of maybe 45 minutes including the texturing so it's not too bad doesn't take too long to make something like this, but it does take, it takes some time smoothing out an in where, where different extrusions meet each other. So now I've got it ready, I move it over to 3D Coat and I import it and then I just start working on getting a texture ready. Um, I start by baking some curvature and ambient occlusion maps. These are a really good idea to have because they make smart materials work. So then I just concentrate on creating a good base bronze material using one of my existing smart materials as a, as a base for it. And then I just add in a different layer set to depth only. And this is just going to allow me to add scratchings 
and engravings to the helmet for detailing. Now you could get really fancy with this, use alphas and stuff like that to um, to create very specific edge wear and stuff. Um, I just play around really simply here by just adding in a couple of big scratches and just some pitting and I really I'm just exploring what I can do in the, with the texture here. Um, this isn't the best material if I were to spend all day on doing this sort of scroll work on it then we could get a really stunning model out but this was just quickly done for example's sake and really this model exists for this tutorial so I only really go into the level of detail that's necessary for giving you the rough impression of a helmet like this um, so then I export that and bring it back over to Blender for I render now sometimes some of the textures don't always come in great when you use an app link because cycles and 3d coat have slightly different tolerances on reflectivity and stuff like that even 3d even though 3d coat is one of the most accurate things for getting your meshes in and out but yeah once we've done that we have got our helmet we can take it out and render it um, do some compositing work with it. Um, thanks for watching and enjoy making your helmets and stuff. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.